Okay, WebNet zero. We found this packet capture in key. Dot key file, recover the flag. You can find this in problems folder. Try using a tool like Wireshark. How do you decrypt the TLS stream? Well, we just need to tell Wireshark around the key. So we'll go ahead and we'll save that key. We'll open this thing in Wireshark. Okay, so right now, we're not gonna be able to follow the streams and get any data out of them. So there's the first stream, there's the second stream. We see some application data there, but it's, it's encrypted. Okay, so what we can do though is we can go into our preferences and put in that RSA key. Which we get from our downloads folder, Pico Pico. Okay. Let's try now following this TLS stream. Okay, there's nothing in that one. Let's try number one. Doesn't look like anything in that one. And try number two. There's HTTP over TLS. Oh, it's still encrypted. Okay, maybe I need to open the file after I've put in that key. I opened it first. So we'll just try opening the file again now that we have that key in there. Okay, yeah, there we go. So now our data is decrypted. And welcome to a sample page. There's legit nothing to see here. Really? Legit nothing to see here. That's that's a bit sad. Um, what about here? Ah, here we go. The Pico flag. Oh, it's in the header. So Nongshim shrimp crackers. Okay. Go to CTF. Nongshim shrimp crackers. And there we have it. 